What's up guys, my name is Liam and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new updated version of the Vaxi PB Gaming Mousepad. This has been something that's taken me by surprise, it feels a little different than I expected, but all around really impressed with the quality the Vaxi has come through on this. But is this going to be the perfect gaming mouse pad for you? Let's check it out. Before we get started today, I did want to let you know this was sent out to me. However, everything you'll be hearing in this video is going to be my own words and my own opinions. This did arrive to my front door, flat packaged in this envelope style packaging. So nice and easy to store if you need to do so. This does come in their standard sizing coming in at 470 millimeters in width, 390 millimeters by height. But the difference is this is actually sitting at 4.8 millimeters in thickness. One of the new features that this has over the previous Vaxi pads is it does come with this silicone base. It feels great, stuck to my desk nicely. I didn't have any issues with it moving around on me. They did update the midsole from the previous versions. It does feel a bit more firm and this feels more similar to something like a mid style base compared to the previous versions that feel just a bit more squishy. They do have their logo down here in the bottom left hand corner and it is raised up above the surface so if you were to bring your mouse down in this area you can feel it on the skates. But they are using the same type of surface that they are using on their other pads so if you are familiar with the Vaxi PA Black then you have a really good understanding and idea on how the properties of the surface feels minus the new additional properties that this base adds. You do get a really controlled glide as you're using this so it has a really solid and consistent dynamic friction but one of the things with the new properties on this base is me myself personally I like to kind of put weight on the mouse and push into it I kind of have more of an aggressive play style and with the firmness of this base you absolutely do notice some different characteristics and properties there you don't get as much of the sinking in feeling and of course that can vary depending on the size and types of skates that you're using but just I feel like no matter how aggressive I play with this no matter how hard I push into it it, you still get that same consistent type of control feeling but you never get like the inconsistencies of it sinking in or very dramatically increasing the static friction I found this did have an equal glide amongst both the X and the Y axis so even if you're someone to use a mouse with like smaller skates up in the front or even the dot skates those of you that have used skates like that know that on certain pads when you're to apply weight on top of the mouse or to push into it, it really starts to sink in a lot more and I just really felt like this pad offers just such a more of a consistent feeling regardless of what types of skates that you're using. And when it comes to a speed comparison between the newer Vaxi PB and the older style Vaxi PA pads, if you are using a colored pad, just as before the black version, ultimately feels a little slower, has a little bit of a less quicker glide. With this PA pad, since it has a little bit different of the midsole slash base on here with a more squishy properties. Again, if you were to apply weight on here and get pressure in there, it does offer some additional stopping power, but again, you get a little bit more of that sinky feeling and it almost makes it feel a little bit more muddy. Whereas on the Vax PB, you can just put so much weight on it and you're just gonna maintain that consistent style of glide. So let's go ahead and drop the glide test between both of these. Next up, comparing the Vaxi PB to the Zowie GSR2. The overall performance of both of these is not that far apart from one another. I do feel like on the GSR2 that it does feel just a little bit like it has a little bit less dynamic and static friction, so you do have a little bit more of a quicker glide. So to me, the Vaxi PB does offer a little bit greater sense of control, so let's go ahead and drop the glide test between both of them. All right, and finally, since I know I probably get asked it, it's one of the most common questions I get asked. How does it stack up against the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro? On the 3.5 millimeter Saturn Pro, it does have a little bit less initial friction and static friction. So overall, it does feel like a quicker pad. But one thing that I do notice is the Saturn Pro, as you push into it and play more aggressively with it, it does feel like you sink into the pad quite a bit more, where again, on the PB, it does offer a greater sense of control, but it does have more firmness there. And I feel like if you're gonna play more aggressively with it, it does feel just a little bit more consistent all around on the performance. So let's drop the glide test between the Vax PB and the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro Soft. 
All right, guys, so that about wraps things up on the Vaxi PB. When Vaxi first announced the PB, it didn't really seem like it was going to be that exciting to me, considering the fact that it uses the same type of surface as before. So I really thought that I had a good idea on what to expect. But I must say, the second that I threw this on my desk and started using it, it honestly took me by surprise having a lot of other mouse pads coming out and they're all using the Poron or the PU style bases. I instantly knew that when I started using this that it did feel pretty pretty different from anything else out there. With the amount of control that you get with this, but with the firmness of the base all around, it just feels like such a smooth and consistent glide. And I really have been loving the performance of this. And I'm even gonna go as far to say that just how this has been performing for me in game, that this is absolutely without question, one of my favorite mouse pads out there currently on the market. The attention to detail that they put into this when designing it, it really does come through in the performance. And overall, it just feels incredible to use in all types of game play as long as you're okay with using more of a controlled style pad. All right guys, so if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed watching this video and are interested in more videos like this in the future, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.